took me all night to get this hairdo. Yep. And we're going on another road trip. Deep, deeper isolation. Not more people. Away from people. You'll see. Bear with me. I'm going to do a little, you know what? I'm feeling a little uh, two-minute takeaway. Now, I'm going to do this in the road. I'll be focused on the road. And I'm in a Jeep, so this thing might shake. So you're going to have to bear with me. And I'm going to try to get it in two minutes. If not, I'll do a longer version with whatever makes us feel alive. We're going to dip into that. I'm going to dip into dialing in success or failure for yourself. What are you dialing in? Meaning, what do you have in your imagination? What are you doing? How are you using it? Are you flooded with failure, disappointment, anxiety? All very real. I'm not discounting any of that. It's all there. But what are you dialing in? Ooh, I dialed out some air conditioning right now, right? There you go. Probably easier to hear. I want more cold air. Dial it in. I want less cold air. Dial it down. Air anxiety. Metaphor. I will not be doing a bunch of metaphors, just so you know. I'm just speaking from the heart, not from the pulpit. Always, always, always. Because I'm learning like you're learning. How are we doing things? What am I doing? Okay, let's do this. Okay, let me give you a little peek in my two minute takeaway for the road. Dial that in for you just a little bit more. Be coming at you right now. Start that clock and here we go now. Focusing on the road first. Success or failure. It's up to us. We can choose which one we aim to experience. Because our mind, our body, our soul are going to set us in the direction of whatever we dial it in, right? Like a control knob. We want success, happiness, fulfillment, joy, peace, love, laughter, adventure. Whatever you feel makes you happy. Whatever that is for you, it's different for you as it is for me, for somebody else, dial it in. If we're dialed into anxiety, failure, fear, doubt, the world will dump on us all of that information and we'll get what we imagine. Because you're imagining it, you're creating it in your imagination. We can choose to experience happiness or our attitude towards what our circumstances are. For example, an animal, it is, is a predisposition, its instinct is self-preservation and procreation. It will do what it has to to survive. The beauty about the human race is we have creative imagination. We can create how we want to live, what experience we want, right? Of course we have unbelievable circumstances that are tragic but their attitude towards it can be remarkable and life altering. So I'm well over my two minutes, but choose, dial in what you want and your brain, your life experience will provide for you every piece of information you need to make that happen. And I'm just saying, find out what makes you happy, what makes you feel alive with joy, love, laughter, peace, adventure, whatever it is for you. Make it your own, and you will make that happen. You are enough, always enough. So enough of the, I'm not enough. You're enough. Start right there. Just tell yourself, I'm enough. And if any negative thought comes in, recognize it. And if you have to write it down, write it down. And you will see, like, oh my gosh, I thought this, and this came to mind. And if it happens again, write it down. And you're gonna see a pattern of negative thinking. Do it. Are you enough? Do you believe you're enough? I say you are enough. And let's be clear. I am not in any way speaking from a pedestal. And I have a hell of a long way to go on this journey. Just so you know, because I'm discovering these things as we go, right? Because I'm going to make a mistake. And yeah, there are times that I don't, I wonder if I'm enough, right? And I change that right away. Change it. I am not going down, because I've been down that road. I'll tell you what, I will refuse to let those thoughts consume me. Refuse. 
and yeah, they're gonna keep, they're gonna keep coming, and I'm back to trial and error because I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail tomorrow, but I'll tell you what I'm not gonna be afraid of is taking the risk. Hell no. People can hate me. People can bash me or whatever, because I've experienced um, playground bullying when I was a kid. So I learned a long time ago that uh, I am not going to be driven by the thoughts and opinions of others. Um, but I will be driven by my own instinct. Again, start with a belief system and start with this one. You are enough. When any of those negative thoughts come about, I am not enough. You're enough.